We seem to be 55 minutes away from implosion, unless the people from Maricopa have something to say about it. It seems that Donald Trump uh, may be reinstated on Twitter. And I gotta say, I love the tactic that Musket is doing. Uh, it's the same tactic that Viktor Orban is doing in Hungary. Like, for example, regarding the refugee crisis. Like, Orban cannot say that he doesn't want refugee because that is fascismus. But what he can do is to ask for a vote because that is democracy, the most sacred concept of the Western world. And, of course, when you put people to vote in a poll like this, you wash your hands on the whole thing. Uh, most likely, uh, people are going to vote yes, because even leftists find it very entertaining <laughs> to see the mean tweets back on the platform. Um, and then Elon Musk can say, well, look, I mean, I, I didn't want to do it, but democracy, oh, democracy. Uh, and if people vote no, then he can also say, well, you know, I did my best, but if people don't want him back. Uh, now, it's interesting because... Um, Apparently, he claims there are a lot of bots that uh, have weighed in. I don't know necessarily if they're bots or not, but it could also be due to activists because there are articles written about this and people reading it is like, oh, well, I'm going to cast my vote on this legally binding Twitter post. Uh, what would be very interesting, however, is if uh, the results would be 50-50. I actually had that happen to me once. I asked the question of you guys and the results came in it was 50 50 and i was like god damn <laughs> so <laughs> obviously it's not going to happen but maybe you know we can have a recount or something still almost 15 million people have voted and 134 million have seen this poll which uh suggested to elon Musk that he should do this more often and he may actually want to implement a feature where you can vote by country uh, that would be actually interesting because a lot of times there are certain questions online which should affect one nation, but you have people from other nations voting in. Um, of course, people are freaking out about it, but I don't know why they're freaking out about it because Facebook themselves said that they may reinstate Trump. Uh, Facebook has this joke of a Supreme Council of Facebook, which is proeminently made by left-leaning people. And even they said, well, yeah, but like what happened to Trump? Like he didn't violate any TOS and you're banning him for life. That's unfair. Blah, 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 blah. So even like the Supreme Court of Facebook uh, went like, yeah, maybe not. So now Zuckerberg was like, oh, well, we'll see. So it's possible that he's going to come back on Facebook. It's possible that he may come back on Twitter. You know, at the end of the day, this is up to him because uh, he has his own through social thing. So. It may be like, even though he's unbanned, he may not want to reuse the account. Who knows? Now, what is also interesting is that Elon Musk uh, also unbanned Kathy Griffin. Probably H3H3 H3 would have been unbanned if he didn't try to uh, push his luck and do ban evading. Uh, there was also Jordan Peterson, which got unbanned, and the Babylon Bee. Now, regarding Alex Jones, uh, Elon Musk said that he will not unban him. And this caused a lot of people to be very angry with Musk. And I, I don't understand um, why people can't take like 75% of a win. You know, it's, it's like, okay, well, it's not 100% yet. I mean, even Alex Jones himself has said that he understands the situation. There is pressure from the European Union to keep Alex Jones banned. There is pressure from uh, the U.S. government to keep him banned. And right now they're still restructuring Twitter. They're, they're still trying to figure out which employees to keep and which to fire, because as we saw, a lot of the people within Twitter were trying to sabotage Elon Musk, and some of them even went to the newspaper to talk about what is happening from the inside. So, yeah, like, he needs to get his company in order, um, and Alex himself understands the situation. I mean, it's not a perfect world. I mean, the idea that these people would have been unbanned would be unthinkable two months ago. Like, like already, you notice that things are changing at least for the better. Like it's, it's better now than it was four months ago. So I'm happy with that. Now, of course, all of these I'm banning right now are for PR purposes, like public relations. I, I know many people who were banned and they can't get their accounts back yet. So, you know, this is just like a PR stunt, if you will, especially like the whole thing with like, oh, let's have a vote. Let's see. Come on. Yeah, like if you want to, it's your company. If you want to reinstate them, reinstate them. But still, the circus is funny. Uh, especially a lot of the comments from within the this uh, 
as interesting poll, uh, many of which would probably violate YouTube TOS. Um, now, another interesting thing is that uh, Elon Musk has said that Twitter is going to become a payment processor, like he already filed uh, the requirements for that, which means that he's not going to be deplatformed by payment processors if he used the payment processor. Uh, secondly, it also uh, shows that he has a plan for the future, like he has a vision for the platform. And more importantly, he said something very interesting. No other platform is doing this. He says that uh, Twitter will have like freedom of speech, but not freedom of reach. So basically you'll have like a three tier Twitter system. So, so you have like the sanitized one where you have all the ads and stuff. Uh, but then you have like the edgy version of Twitter where I guess like you, you may have pornography like you have now. Um, you may have uh, a little bit more edgy takes. Um, and that will have less advertisers. And then you have like uh, the dark Twitter where you have slurs and insults and racismus and hasesprache and sexismus and misogynismus. And uh, with that, apparently, you will not be able to find people's tweets unless you search for them. Uh, and there will be no ads for them. Like you will not be able to make money out of it. But still, like you will be able to say slurs and stuff. <coughs> now, just because you can, I wouldn't recommend people to say slurs because Twitter is the number one platform which can get you fired. So just by saying something now, five or six years from now, people can find that stuff and they can get you fired. Uh, but still, it, it, it's an interesting take, right? Like trying to move away from the advertisers, uh, trying to create a new system that doesn't exist on any other social media platform. Um, and I'm really curious to see how it goes, because if it's successful, it can actually influence the other social media companies. I don't know. We'll see. Still, um, I, I'm waiting for this meltdown. Like, the tomorrow's articles are going to be muy interesante. Oh, and also, I, I almost forgot. This is also very interesting. So, the first World Cup match on Sunday is going to be covered on Twitter. I mean, this is so interesting as a business idea. A lot of people who watch sports, they prefer watching them together. Unfortunately, however, many people are single or don't have friends. So now you would be able to watch it on Twitter and while you're watching it, you can talk about the game. That, that would be interesting. I don't think you can do that anywhere else. That you can watch something live, uh, especially a, a sports, and you can talk with people on a chat. That's really interesting. I think like uh, for such a service, people would even be interested to pay. Especially if the price is acceptable, like if you're paying, I don't know, ten dollars, twenty dollars, that you get to see uh, the football game and you can talk about it, or you know, like maybe create uh, polls and stuff. Would be interesting. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and if you want to support the channel, if you want to get uh, Romanian TV Blue, <laughs> there's a link into the pinned comment, and uh, it will take you to my subscribe star. You don't get anything, but uh, you do get buyer's remorse. <laughs> so I'll see you guys there. Take care.